spoke to you um, obviously before the game, but obviously since then, obviously Cook and Carberry have gone well. But in your experience now, with having lost a game, um, how important do you assess the like to say Kevin Peterson to get a go in his first tour match and Gary Ballance down the order? I mean, how important is it that middle time in the build-up to an Ashes series? Well, time in the middle is like gold dust. Um, I think just ask Alistair Cook that. I'm sure he felt a lot better t last night than he did yesterday morning before he played. So, yeah, for a batter, you want to get an, you know, it's always good to get some runs on the board before you go into the first test. So, um, yeah, shame to lose a day. Um, we'll see what tomorrow holds. Um, but I'm sure Peterson and, and the rest of the, you know, the order would, you know, like some time in the middle. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. How do you think the Ashes series will go? I think it's going to be a bit more... I mean, the Ashes that's just gone on, I think 3-0 didn't quite reflect what the stats did. So I think England were the side that managed to capitalise on, on, on the sort of... Well, Australia had more bad sessions, I suppose is the best way to put it. And I suppose that's a sign of the, the quality of the England team at the moment. Um, as far as this, when this Ashes series is concerned, I think Australia will certainly be a different team, even if they played the same... Even if it was the same personnel. Um, I think they'll definitely have more of a go and certainly give England more of a challenge. So I'm certainly expecting it to be um, a lot closer. Um, I'm, I'm going to sit on the fence to save any arguments whatsoever from either side. <laughs> Do you look at the era in which you played international cricket and then see how things are being run at England and the ECB now? Do you look at that with a bit of envy, at just how well organised and, and, and how successful there being in, in, in a way wish that you'd had some of that? Um, it wasn't around when I was playing, so I can't worry about it. My time's gone. So, But yeah, it's I don't, not just me. I think anyone playing professional sport wants to be playing and, and be in the right environment. And, and most international teams now have, especially certainly the top teams, have that set up you know, and follow the likes of Australia, England and South Africa, whatever, and making sure that the players are in the in the best environment to help them to perform to their best ability. Um, yeah, it's very different to now as to what it was in the in the 90s, but things move on. So. And you're able to look at, from your experience in England and the structure sort of beneath the international side and now here in Australia, looking at the sort of younger players coming through, do you get the sense that the English success over Australia might last for some time? There's some good players coming through um, here in Australia, yeah, and I think I don't think Australia are going to want to keep losing the Ashes, so I don't think it'll be a long time. They'll certainly be competing more and more. Um, so we'll, we'll wait and see. Warner's got 100 today, and, and Rogers got runs yesterday. Do you think the, the Aussie batsmen have had enough first-class oh, cricket ahead of the test? I, don't know. Ask their selectors that, not me. As I say, any, any batsman, is, all you can do is get runs on the board. That's what you deal in. So you know, both those players will be... They've showed they've got a bit of form. It's down to the selectors to make their decisions. It's not up, not up to me. You know, yeah, the same as a bowler. If, you, if you're wanting to put your name in the hat, the best thing you can do is get wickets. A batsman, the best thing you can do is get runs and then see what happens in a couple... Well, I suppose the tide might be announced next weekend. So.